On today's One Thing Wednesday, we're going to look at desktop shortcuts that you can use for Twitter. This might be useful for people who have got, say, a motor impairment or a tremor. It might also be useful for people who have, say, if you've broken your dominant arm, then you might temporarily be using keyboard shortcuts. And frankly, I've been using a lot more of these shortcuts now that I've learned where they are. The quick way that you can access them is to press question mark, and that'll bring up all of the shortcuts that you can use. I would say that not all of these work. I would test them to make sure that you can actually use them. They are much better than the Chrome keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, which are typically press seven different buttons, which isn't really very accessible for anyone. But let's focus on a few of these key ones so that we know which ones we're looking at and which ones will actually be useful to us. The two main ones that I actually have adopted using in every day. So you've got, you press N and that will take you to a new tweet, which is pretty cool. And then you can click just next to it on M and that will take you to a, um, a, pr a private message in a DM. Now, two things that don't actually work are the mute or block. So you're meant to be able to press U for, for block, uh, for mute and B for block. And neither of those actually work. The one thing that does work really well, though, is the navigation. So you can click J and that will take you down and they highlight the, the, the tweet that you're on nicely. And then you press enter simply to enter that individual tweet. So you can click J to go down or K to go back up again. And if you decide that you want to refresh all your tweets, you just hit full stop, which is a period in the US. Now, one thing which I did think was pretty cool, if you want to bookmark a tweet, so we select it there, you can actually click B once you're in there and it will actually add it to your, it will say tweet added to bookmarks and, and that'll mean that it's added there for you. So you don't have to remember to click it or everything. Okay, that's been some quick Twitter shortcuts uh, that you can use on desktop. I hope that's been useful to you.